Good evening. Thank you for coming here to celebrate the completion of our latest production, The Drowned Man. I must ask you to remain absolutely silent and to wear your masks at all times. I urge each of you to steer your own course. Tonight, your bearing shapes your fate. This work only functions if there's a sense of mystery. Maybe we've got a, a core need to explore the unknown, to be taken outside of our comfort zone. My personal mission is to give audience an experience that they've never had before. The sort of the real world magic hour that, that, that moment where the hairs stand up on the back of your spine. It's such a treasured moment. How do you package that? It's about a heightened state of awareness. The more real it is, the deeper it becomes. We take over a big disused building, transform it to a level of cinematic detail where everything is tactile and everything you see you can touch. In a building, the architectural demands hurtle you into the present. If you're in an auditorium and the action's on a stage, the space is clearly defined and you know your place. What happens when the audience shift from the security of that status and become a character? The traditional theatre-going experience is one that's utterly formulaic. You queue to pick up your tickets, then the little pips go, you realise you have to rush to your seat, you get your tickets checked, you find your place in the auditorium, you settle down, you relax, and you await the curtains opening. In this sort of um, tech-saturated world where everything's accessible and everything's a couple of clicks away on your computer, what we're trying to do with Punch Drunk is the absolute opposite. So we're trying to activate and switch on your head so that you're physically ready to have real tactile contact with another living entity. Selena Moore is Macbeth, told as a Hitchcock thriller in a six-storey hotel in a warehouse. The Drowned Man is the story of Wojciech set in a film studio in 1960s Los Angeles. The audience are masked to differentiate them and the performers. And actually they become ghosts, they disappear into the aesthetic of the piece. With a show like Sleep No More or The Drowned Man, you have big spectacle elements, but then it strips back to what's truly punch drunk, where one of those performers will catch the eye of a solitary audience member. Now it's only two people in a room, but we're in a completely different theatrical realm. You're shifted from being a faceless, anonymous audience member to having a role to play within the story. The audience are our complete starting point, how we want them to feel as they enter a show. That show could be in a building, where the design and the aesthetic and just the atmosphere that's easily controllable can do it for you. But equally, and I think this is the way that we're definitely going as a company, that can happen in the real world too. We're working on something called Punch Drunk Travel, um, which is where we function as a travel agency and you book a holiday with us. Off you jet, you get an in-show phone and you get given one instruction. Get on the first train you can and go to the end of the line and that's when the information stops. As you leave the boundary of the airport in your taxi or the bus as you head towards the train station, anybody you see could, could be part of the show and the show has begun. So suddenly your awareness shifts. As soon as you hit that point, as you step through the invisible line, you almost get a reverse story backtrack where whew, you're the hero. You're in the film. Roads you might have walked hundreds of times before. The street that you grew up on, suddenly you see with that magic hour veneer because 
you're living in it in a different way. You're a character within your own life. It's the next plane for us to discover. The future of storytelling is placing the audience at the heart of the experience. We're not doing anything new. I think we've just happened to hit at a time when technology and the internet is suddenly this other factor and has skewed the way we read the world. And actually because it's made us more passive and it's softened us, it's actually, it's, it's made us, it's, 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 it's made life too, um, it's made life too easy. All that we're doing is trying to make it a little bit more difficult again and to make people feel alive.